Here's Melvin coming out. Blummer kind of referenced this last inning. There's been some close pitches, and a couple have gone the ways for the Astros, but for the most part, Porter's done a pretty good job. I thought he's been all right. He's been consistent at least. Not sure warranted that action from Bob Melvin, but he's gone, and Mark Kotze looks like he might be taking over the reins for the Oakland A's. Ball strike ejection. That's what Houston's broadcasters thought happened. Here's what Oakland's broadcasters had. It was arguing with Alan Porter, and they went at it pretty good, and Bob Melvin was tossed from the game. We don't know what they were arguing about. Well, Bob Melvin initially came out and kind of pointed to the mound, and I don't know if Garcia was doing something that Bob didn't approve of, but, I mean, the, the argument, or at least the conversation, sued around, I don't know, where the ring central side is, and then all of a sudden, something must have been said that Porter threw him out. Well, it could very well have been about that extended conversation, that extended mound meeting. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. Think about giving their guy a lot of time to get ready, trying to match up. I mean, you very well could have made that move in that at bat. Well, and you know, Dallas also, that clock is not starting. And it's supposed to start at 30 when, when somebody goes to the mound. I don't know if it leaves the dugout or crosses the line or something, but I have not seen the clock running. And so really, if it's not running, the umpire is writing down mound visit and all that kind of stuff. And, oh, I think I'll go to the mound. And eventually everything stopped. So it could be a number of things. Ball strikes is the easiest to look at, so we looked at all the close ones, and those appear to all be correct. Strike on the inside corner in the count two and two. That's a strike. Right on the inside corner. The next thing we looked at is the pitcher going to the mouth in rule 602C1. And we don't have a full camera angle of where the pitcher's plate or the rubber is. So we don't know if he's engaged with the rubber. He might be straddling. And if he's straddling, that action is legal provided he wipes the hand dry. Maybe it's because he didn't wipe the hand dry. This is not something you usually see argued. So let's move on to the next item. Been way out in Houston. <laughs> Next up, maybe Bob Melvin doesn't like this pickoff move, says it's Ill illegal disengagement. No, nope, both move at the same time. Both legs move simultaneously. That's a jump turn, a legalized pickoff move for left-handed pitchers in baseball. Strike on the What's inside next? corner in the count two and two. How's the pace of game going right now, guys? Pretty good? Yeah, you know, I was Dallas, just... what do you think, Gray? I was just thinking, I don't think the A's have had tempted a stolen base this series, have we? And with two outs... Rich Strong's going to come out and talk to Luis Garcia and the Astros, try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so I put up the clock that the A's broadcaster said was not running in the stadium, which means that the umpire is working blind. The umpires depend on the pitch clock operator to be accurate. And if the pitch clock operator is not doing their job, then the umpires are put at a disadvantage. As I said before, if you're going to blame someone, blame the stadium operations staff. But as we get to zero... Where is Alan Porter? As we get to 35, 36 seconds, look at the bottom left hand of the screen. Porter is trying to work his way in. So the umpire is there. He's just trying to get to the back of the mound to actually break it up. So Porter may be five seconds late. Not bad if there's no pitch clock to work off of. Charges the mound visit. What's the little strike zone box doing there when there's no at bat? I digress. Anyway, this can't possibly be what Melvin's arguing about. Could it? Pitch to Brown. First strike, off-speed pitch. We've seen Garcia blocked by Maldonado. Another nice play by Maldonado. He had a backhand this one, so 30% of the way toward home plate. Brown bounces one past Mike Eldredi. Oh, I see. Melvin's mad about the checks. No swing. Okay, it's not that. What could it be? But Seth Brown started, stopped his swing. Well, and now we find ourselves at that spot. They've thrown that curveball 2-2. Two, two. You see Brownie kind of takes off, and it's a swing and a miss on a big breaking ball, 75 miles per hour. So Brown strikes out, a strand runners at the corners. Sixth inning coming at 5-2 Astros. And just to bring it full circle, this once again is what happened when they came back from break. Sixth inning, 5-2 Astros. There was some action in between innings, and it had to do with the A's manager, Bob Melvin. 
who was arguing with Alan Porter, and they went at it pretty good, and Bob Melvin was tossed from the game. We don't know what they were arguing about. Well, Bob Melvin initially came out and kind of pointed to the mound, and I don't know if Garcia was doing something that Bob didn't approve of, but, I mean, there, the argument, or at least the conversation, sued around, I don't know, where the ring central sign is, and then all of a sudden, something must have been said that Porter threw him out. So without really knowing more, this could just be another fire the troops up, I'm tired of losing games ejection for Bob Melvin. Let's see if it works.